because of the imagery of sexy red, we're gonna start back seeing white boys getting drunk, uh, getting their trucks, going back into the black community, snatching up the sexy red looking black girl, or, or, or booking one prostitute for a, a, a sexy red, it, it, it shouldn't get ugly only for the black girl. So the black girl finna start being raped more. She finna start being publicly brutalized like the woman who was hit in the head with the rock. All of this imagery makes it easy for a black woman to get hit in the head with a rock and we all stand around and look at it. Because she, she, she's being demeaned. She's being degraded in such a way you'll start spitting on her. Turning that booty on and that pussy up, putting your head to the ground, making your ass to the world. Man, listen, black girls are gonna start being molested at a rate that you guys have not seen like no other because of the imagery. Because little black girls is for the start becoming sexually explicit. To sing the song of the brown booty hole, little black girls is for the start becoming more enticing to, to pedophiles. What you just asked me? Why you sexy, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why you shocked? Because I am love your song. Oh, you do. Thank you. What's your favorite song? He all love my songs. Everybody know her song at this point. What, what song? song? Ski. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, high five. Thank you. I fought with your young buck. Through the hood, with your boo. All his homeboys think I'm cute. <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to get my coochie stressed. Yeah. You know them dreads do it the best. Oh yeah. I like a nigga with a check. All my niggas give me nap. Yeah. You know I'm sexy. I'm the best. Sexy. Uh. I'm the same little bitch on that. Keep going. But I can't say his name because he be cheap. I love you, baby. Yeah, bitch. And I'm the reason. Niggas love a bad bitch. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? You say that on my feet. Sexy. Thank you. You heard up my booty hole brown. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. My booty hole brown. If you see me and you trying to see what's up, he wanna fuck with me, but I'm gonna have him stuck. She <laughs> said, Yeah. Hey, you don't know about this, brother. This is what she said. Is this Ice Spice? Nah, nah, no. her name's Sexy Red. Hey, why this so catchy, though, like? If you see me and you trying to see what's up, he wanna fuck with me, and I'm gonna have him stuck. Oh, it's my jam right here, dog. Y'all don't know nothing about this shit. Hey. I'm out here in Miami Looking for the hoochie daddy Where they at? Where the niggas that get ratchet? Where they at? My son need a new pappy I'm a hood rat, I like fuck If you know me, then you know what's up I like real niggas, don't give a fuck When you give me hug, gotta grip my butt This cookie fire and this wet boo If you get a chance, I'ma bless you I'm cracking niggas like tattoo If you love me, get it tattooed I'm fine as fuck, I ain't lying That dick fire, gotta split the time I'm young poppy, I'm in my prime uh, 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 I forgot to get
no way. Sexy red. <laughs> yeah. And Yo, hey, she going crazy, bro. You got to give her her flowers, bro. She going crazy. <laughs> yeah, I hate her. Yeah, that's uh, uh she she she's delivering a whore spirit amongst young girl. She she's introducing. We've had a gangster spirit. The gangster spirit damn near wiped the young black males out. This whole spirit, this whole spirit is fit to do a number on the young black girl. And I already got the boys. They never had focus on black girls before. The powers to be, the tools of white supremacy have never just strictly targeted black girls. They first started targeting black girls with imagery, saying, black girl, you're not pretty if you don't have white girl hair. Those were symbolic things that they were doing. Now, what you just asked me? Why you sexy, Dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you shy? Because I am not your song. Oh, you do. Thank you. What's your favorite song? Hey, I love my songs. Everybody know her song at this point. Yes, boss. Back in here again once again, man. You see the topic and what it is we're talking about, right? We're talking about Sexy Red. Now, I'm going to just say this before I even jump into the video. I notice there are some people who get, like, real butt hurt because I call out certain celebrities or certain people at their door. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. If you love them people that much, bro, that you don't like when people talk negative about them, that's completely fine. But I want you to understand something. You're defending people who don't even know that you exist. Now, pause for two seconds because it's like a lot of goofy ass niggas who jumped in my shit about Boosie and this, that, and the third. I'm going to be real, bro. I don't pick and choose who I want to attack. If you fit the role and the agenda, my nigga, and I can break you down very easily... I'm going to drop a video about you. You get what I'm saying? So feel no way everybody's going to get a video damn near done about them. Diddy, City Girls, all of that shit. It's just certain people I could catch real quick, right? Now, we're talking about Sexy Red. Sexy Red has been rapping for like a hot minute. That's why I showed that little clip of her doing the making my way downtown, walking fast. She did that, that whole freestyle, right? Now, the reason being why this is so serious, why I'm talking about Sexy Red is... They've had a lot of whoring music being pushed, different artists to push it, but Pound Town was next level. Pound Town was as descriptive in detail as you can possibly get, dog. It's so out there that you have little kids singing it, and little kids singing it and knowing the lyrics, like the little girl who was saying, booty hole brown, booty hole brown in the car, and her mom's like, okay, yeah, stop. You, it, it, it's okay, bro. You, you, it was played on the radio, She's hearing it now. You can't tell a, ch a child to stop, dog. That's the whole purpose of them pushing these people so kids can get a grasp of it. You seen the little baby singing Pound Town. That's a, that's a friggin' infant, dog. That's a baby singing this shit. You get what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you why I'm so pissed about this shit, right? Because there are a lot of dudes out here who are doing phenomenal jobs as fathers. Taking care of their kids. Raising their kids teaching their daughter the way right and they have artists out here and influencers like sexy reds and suki hana and city girls that's pushing agendas of being a whore and jezebel behavior and all of that shit and here's the part about it that's so crazy right it would it would scare any man who's supposed to be a father or fathering a daughter you get what i'm saying because you raise your daughter to be respectful and respect men and then you have these little friggin' demons who come out of nowhere and they talk about Pound Town and Booty Hole Brown and steering off women off of a cliff to take up that whoring behavior. And certain people take it as a joke because they either never had a father in their life or never had anybody who would have done certain things for them in that aspect of fight for them or show them love. There are a lot of women out here who haven't, who haven't been shown love. And that's the fucked up part about it. But here's the thing about it, right? Charleston White dropped those videos, and that's why I very much specifically picked out those clips, right? Charleston White is an older guy. I hang around older people. You get what I'm saying? 
I think very far, I see very far ahead, dog. I have like an old soul. You get what I'm saying? The reason being why he said certain shit and I'm not going to wrong him for it is because he sees what's going to happen. <clears throat> Everybody knows this if you don't know this, right? Holes do not get respect. If you don't know that shit, ask questions. You don't have to believe me. Somebody around you will tell you this shit, bro. Holes get no respect. They're pushing whoring behavior and being a thought, being a ratchet, being whatever it is you want to, right? Then when females take this shit up and they only get fucked and ran through and ended up with multiple babies, guess what? That's more problems and more chaos in the community. Remember I told you, dog, that everybody's going to get their turn. They're playing games with everybody to confuse them. Men had their turn. They had men talking about bitches and hoes and Tupac and all of that. And I'm going to be real. I'm not perfect. I'm nothing short of that. I call my mother a bitch and a hoe on camera. I ain't perfect, my nigga. I'm going to take that. I said that. You feel me? And I had reasons for it. But at the end of the day, I understand certain shit. If you're pushing this whoring and agenda, uh, a whoring agenda and behavior and women take this shit up, eventually they're going to pick it up and inhabit that and they're going to end up living the life of a hoe and a run through. You get what I'm saying? So like I said, hoes get no respect. Nobody values a hoe. A hoes just, hoes just get fucked and ran through. I'm being honest, dog. I'm from Miami. I was raised down here. You get what I'm saying? So I had to learn shit in a hard way and see shit from a different scale. And they're pushing this whoring agenda and whoring behavior. And they're using women like Sexy Red to do this shit, right? So that means you as a father or you as an uncle or you as a father figure, whatever the case may be, as a role model, you doing the best that you can, it's going to hurt you to your heart to find out your little daughter grows up to behave in certain ways and no matter what it is you do all you have to do is rely on the teachings that you gave to your daughter rely on the teachings that you gave to your child because i'm going to tell you this right now there's a lot of women who don't believe this shit and they don't understand it i'm going to tell you this right if you've had a father or you had an uncle or a father figure or somebody to look up to as a male role and they've taught you certain shit and you've went out there and done the opposite of being a hoe, I'm going to tell you right now, you literally let that person down. You may have not done it to them themselves, but the teachings and the time that they spent, it's like that was thrown out of the window and just, I don't give a fuck about it because I'm going to be a hoe in pound town and all that shit, right? You have to understand that when you're a hoe, you get no respect. Nobody values hoes like that. Hoes just get fucked like I said, bro. Charleston White came out and said it, that this is going to be a hell for black women and women on a whole. Because when you push this whoring and thought behavior, nobody cares about you, bro. I explained my story vividly for people to see I'm not from, I don't have to cap, I don't do this shit for money. My mother was a hoe, bro. My mom took all form of games and ran it on me just so I would know who she really was as a person, dog. My mom tricking, confused me, did a lot of bullshit because her time as a hoe she spent being a hoe, she used it to trick and confuse and come up off of other people, and swindle people. You feel me? From all of the games that my mother played, I don't talk to my mom. It's three going on four years now I haven't spoken to my mother. And I don't really care about my mother, dog. Because why? My mother could have taught me certain things in a better way. She just tried to use me. And that's another thing. Holes use people. Holes don't really care about you. When you're at, when, all right, how can I break this shit down to, to really get it all the way out there, right? When you're innocent or you have your innocence, right? You start off fresh in life. Not saying you don't know any better, you're not going to make mistakes, but you have a clean slate. When you're a hoe and you choose to be a hoe, you don't get respect because that's the choice you're making. You're choosing to live fast. A hoe is like the rabbit. The rabbit never run, never won the race. You feel me? The good girls, it may seem like they don't win, but they really do win, dog. When you're a hoe and you're out there living fast, nobody is ever going to respect you. You're just going to get fucked, ran through, and used. I'm going to give you an example without going too deep on it. My sister. My sister is a, like, I ain't disrespect. I don't fuck with her. But I'm going to just be real. That's why I shame the fuck out of people I know. And I'll take heat for it. Because I don't fuck with them niggas. You get what I'm saying? My sister spent her time being a hoe. Being a run through. 
I would never claim my sister. The only thing I'll say is, my nigga, we share the same mother. That's it. You're a hoe. I don't want to have no respect of being around you, no none of that shit. And I'm going to be real with you. When you're a hoe and you're affiliated with hoes, you do not get respect. People don't teach you this shit. There's a lot of women who don't learn this shit, bruh. People want to know why I'm so passionate about certain shit. My nigga, I always wanted to be a father, dog. I always wanted to be an older brother, but certain shit, I never had the ability of understanding why I never had that opportunity, and I understand why now as I get older, bro. There's more shit you have to learn, dog. You get what I'm saying? When you're a man, you have to be careful out here and understand that the, ch the choices that you make out here, they will affect you. If you choose to wife a hoe, nobody's going to respect you, my nigga. I'm being, I'm being so, one through, so 1K, so thorough with you. I'm splitting everything in this video, dog. There's a lot of problems that stem from when you choose to be a hoe and when you choose to do whatever it is that you want. They're pushing these women like Sexy Red. And Suki Hana and all of them to make you feel comfortable to be a hoe. Do that hoeing shit. I'm telling you this shit right now from experience of seeing shit from an outside aspect. Hoes never really win, dog. Hoes just get, hoes get smashed, ran through, gone through everything. That's why I said I'm taking my time with editing and doing certain shit. I'm working on documentaries to show you certain people who they can tell you the truth, bruh. A lot of these people are getting paid to trick and confuse you and make you feel like this shit is comfortable, like it's normal, dog. A lot of these people who are doing this shit, either they've had a father and they're doing this shit as, oh, I'm just doing this as, just as money. I know better. I know right from wrong. They're telling you this shit to misguide you so you could go out there, be a hoe, Throw your life away, and now you're wondering, yo, what the fuck happened to my life? Let me tell you this right now. I don't really know of, a, of that much hoes who've had, like, a successful story, my nigga. I'm being real with you, dog. I don't know of hoes who've had, like, a happily ever after, dog. Because hoes want to do what they want to do. So, yes, they're going to find a simp. Yes, they're going to find somebody who's going to cater to them and do what it is that they want. But they're never going to really respect that nigga. You get what I'm saying? They're never going to appreciate that nigga. Because it's like, yo, you settled for me. I'm a hoe. People have common sense in, in knowing what it is that they've done and what they're doing. Some people choose not to use common sense. You get what I'm saying? But I make these videos because this is something that's very serious to me. I've seen a lot of this shit first-handedly. And I'm telling you right now, my nigga, this shit does not end well, dog. Some people question me, yo, why do you really care that much? If you've seen some of the shit that I've seen, if you've seen certain people who went through certain shit or seen certain shit and knows it doesn't end well, that's why they stress the importance of not doing fuckery, not being evil, not practicing being a hoe, not doing none of that extra shit. I go hard for this shit because I really believe in this shit. I have nieces out here, dog. I don't want them to grow up doing this or none of this other extra shit. But at the end of the day, Everybody has choices that they have to make in life, dog. The media and the industry, they are putting certain people in position to help rob kids of their youth and push this fuckery on them from early, dog. So they start with the whoring early. They start with the badness early. They start with the thugging early. It's a, it's a reason why I play Charleston White, dog. Rewatch his clips and what it is that he said, bro. There's going to be a lot of females that are going to get raped. Rape has already been out here, but it's going to go up even more in numbers. Because it's like when you're teasing sex or you're teasing whatever the case may be, it becomes a thing where it's like it builds up certain men who cannot control themselves to, i.e., go out there and rape a woman. Go out there and pay for, pros pay for pussy. Do prostitution. Do all of these extra shit that get them landed in prison and get bigger time. You get what I'm saying? These are little things that I've seen, witnessed, understood first-handedly, dog. And I don't want somebody's child to go through this shit or somebody who doesn't know any better, dog. With that being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser. It's 444 the world, man. Just remember this in life, dog. We all have choices to make, but just split the difference and know what's right and know what's wrong, dog. If you have kids, 
Make sure you know you're teaching and preaching this shit. That's entertainment. Give life lessons with this shit. Teach them what happens from being a hoe. What what happens, all of the downfalls. Holes don't have happy endings. They try and preach this shit out here in the media like holes end up happy and they're living their best life. They're not, dog. They don't, bro. A lot of these girls end up with incurable diseases. Certain shit that they cannot take off of their name, dog. I don't like, like I said, I don't like talking about people, but my sister is a big, like my sister, like my sister took whore into a whole new level, dog. That's why I don't affiliate myself with her. And for that whole reason, she takes my niece, oh, my niece, I can't even go around my niece like that, dog. Because she's afraid I might expose her lifestyle to my niece. This is all chess right here. My little niece loves the hell out of me, dog. So she's going to ask questions. Why is the uncle around? Why is the uncle this? This is shit you have to explain later on when you were a hoe. Yo, why is it that you did this, mommy? Why don't I have a daddy like that around me like that? Why is it this, that, and the third? When all of these questions add up and you did it for money or you did it for, for oh, I didn't want to listen. I just wanted to be wild and free. Just know that there's an after effect. And I see ahead. I see far ahead. If you have to explain to my niece, dog, yo, you weren't around your uncle because I was afraid your uncle was going to explain who I was to you and this, that, and the third. That's going to be the heartbreaker, dog. When, when she starts to learn, yo, my nigga, the reason why I took you, I won't allow you to talk to your uncle and see your uncle like that is because I don't want your uncle to expose who I was. This is little shit that I don't tell people on camera. I don't tell people all of my business, but I share certain things to a certain extent so you get the picture of what it is I'm trying to paint for you. Being a hoe never has a happy ending. You have to play little little games of hide and go seek. My mom been playing this, I'm a good girl, I'm this, that, and the third. My whole life, when I understood who my mom was, I, I don't give a fuck about that bitch. I really don't. I really don't. You get what I'm saying? Because certain shit you did, you never looked about how it would affect your kids down the line, dog. You get what I'm saying? And it wasn't even necessary. So with that being said, like I said, I don't throw the rock at nobody. All I ask is that people use common sense, use conscience, use mindfulness, and think about it tomorrow, dog. Think about if you have kids. Think about who it is you're bringing into the world and what it is that you're going to leave behind, dog. You don't want your kids to grow in that same whoring ass footsteps, bro. Change that shit. You feel me? 444 the world, man. Peace.